quick update on the van. On the Monday, after I posted my last video, I took it to a garage in Penrith and um, the guy drove it around the block and said, Aye lad, gearbox is gone. Three and a half grand's worth. Right, so I'm stuck, it's my house. I babied it back into the lakes, stopped there for a couple of nights until they could work on it. And as I was taking it in on the Wednesday, I noticed that if I put it in fifth gear, it went quiet. So I got to the motorway at Penrith and I thought, I'm going to get it home, I'm going to get a second opinion, it's too much money is that. So I got it on the motorway, drove it all the, back, all the way back to Bradford. The next day I got it a second opinion at Rodley Motors and um, they got it up on the ramp and they said right we'll drop the gearbox oil, let's see if there's any bits of metal in it, see if it's really gone. There weren't any bits of metal in it, but there weren't any oil in it either. So they pumped some gearbox oil into it, dropped it off the ramp, we took it for a drive around the block, bingo, it's right as rain. So I just saved myself the best part of three and a half grand by that journey coming home, so I'm, I'm very happy, but I still can't go anywhere because we've got this snow coming now and my van don't like snow, so the main thing is van's okay. What I thought I'd do while I'm stuck in Bradford, I've come to the local duck pond. Um, it's a bit of a challenge, the conditions are great, snow, mist, but it's still the local duck pond. Um, but we've got some reeds on the far side, I think we'll be attracted to reeds at ponds for some reason. But what makes it interesting is, as the snow's falling on the frozen pond, it's made this lovely sort of S shape leading you up to the leads, uh, to the reeds, sorry. And it's actually quite an interesting image, it's not going to win any competitions or anything, but um, like I said, it's a local duck pond. So when conditions are like this, and they're not going to change for a while, you've got a bit of time to experiment with different shutter speeds and different apertures. Sometimes it makes quite an interesting effect on a faster shutter speed, a wide open aperture, and it freezes the snow in front of the image. Or I'll, I'll also experiment with longer shutter speeds, and then the snow can become sort of like a veil in front of the image. At least if you do that, get them back into your computer, you can decide which one you like best later on. Well, that was one long hard winter, but it's over. I'm going to keep to my word, head north to Scotland. This is a strange place. A friend of mine from my hometown of Bradford says the next time you go to Scotland, he says, go to a place called the Electric Bray. Uh, so come here. And um, it's supposed to be an optical illusion. But that there in front of me is definitely uphill. I mean, it's not just could be uphill, it's definitely uphill. But if I take my handbrake off, I let my foot off the brake. We start, we start rolling uphill. That's amazing. <laughs> That's the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. call it for this episode um, I've been up in this neck of the woods before and to be honest there's not much around here for me at this point I'd like to say a big thank you to everybody who's made comments liked and shared my channel it's really appreciated and um, it's given me the encouragement to make a few more at least anyway that being said it's that time where we have to see where we're going next
West.